What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I'm opening another collection that I purchased. This one's got some really nice old school stuff in it uh, and I think that I got it at a good price to where I can resell it on my sales page, my Instagram sales page, which is OSC Sales. Link will be in the description. Go follow that page so that when I do a claim sale, um, put your alerts on and then you can go ahead and claim stuff that I'm selling and uh, a lot of it will be from this collection here. So. Uh, let's open this up and get started with looking over the stuff. Uh, I don't know everything that's in here. I know some of the main cards, um, but I don't know the like true conditions of everything because you know pictures and videos can only do so much. Uh, it's best when you have the card in front of you. All right, so box is empty there. So it looks like it's all in a binder. And I'm glad nothing came out, which is really good. All right, so, oh, look, a little bit came out. Hopefully nothing too valuable. Uh, Garnesi Elephantis is not a valuable card, so that's good. Uh, but it looks like it's in fine shape. Um, so there's some cool stuff here, some nostalgic cards. Um, this beta is really, looks really damaged, but um, overall, I love the Celtic Guardian and the uh, Gyakuteno Megami, or Megami. I always called it Megami when I was a kid, but I think it's Megami. Um, this is pretty sweet. There's a lot of really old nostalgic cards in here. So you got that Thousand Dragon. This uh, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem's pretty cool. Let's check that out. This Ulti Rare, so. That's nice, it looks like it's in decent shape. It's an unlimited um, edition, but it is pretty cool. The, uh, the sleeve, I think, is in worse shape than the card, but let's see. Yeah, it's not in bad shape. Pretty good. It's got the stamp on the back, you know, that you always see that with Ultimate Rares. Not always, but often. You often see that with Ultimates. So it looks like he's got it kind of organized by like normal uh, monsters, fusions, then we got Rituals, which is cool. We got a first ed Shinado. That's nice. It looks like there's oh, okay because everything is like doubled. So we got relinquished. Looks like there's a few relinquished in here. This is a first ed SDP. Pretty sweet. And then another SDP and another SDP. So those are cool. They're a little played, but um, that's a nice little play set. It's nice and nostalgic. Good to play with um, when you're dueling. It's pretty cool. So some Shinados. Maybe another one, yep. So one first ed. First ed unfortunately is played, but the unlimited looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that's nice. A lot of people out there do collect unlimited. So, and these all feel pretty thick. I mean, there's like, a lot of these have doubles or maybe even triples. Tons of relinquished in here, which is always nice. So we'll go through those later on and kind of see what conditions they're in. Because uh, as I explained to the buyer or the seller, um, conditions everything when it comes to value. Uh, and then value fluctuates with the market, right? So usually stuff trends upwards, but sometimes things come back down. Um, however, it's always changing or it always depends on the condition. That's really the key. So some of the bigger cards here was like this first edition LOB uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So we're going to take that out as carefully as we can. And... That is, it's a glossy version. Uh, so let's, I guess we can go ahead and check on its condition. I think he told me it, was, it had some play. So the front looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's, I think he described it accurately. He said lightly played and I would call that lightly played. It's just got some, you know, minor scuffing on the back. No real big bends or creases that I can see. Um, so yeah, I'd go with like light, maybe, maybe moderately played, but um, Everybody's got a different definition of what played means, so um, that's totally understandable. But I think that's in pretty good shape. Um, so that's probably the best card in here. Um, but this is another of the good ones. I think this one, again, is lightly played. This uh, first edition started at Kaiba, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pretty cool card. Very nostalgic for us old guys that played with this as a kid. So the front's good. Eh, it's decent. It's decent. The edges are a little rough, but the back is actually pretty clean. Wow, that back is like near mint, really clean. Um, this light is also kind of harsh on the card. Like it, it makes it look a lot worse than it is in, 
realized so that's that's actually really good. That might be close to near mint. Um, again, that light is kind of uh, it makes the edges look worse than they are in real life. So because I'm looking at it um, on camera and off camera, and it looks a lot better off camera <laughs> than it does on camera. Uh, so there's a blue eyes from uh, starter deck. No, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, duelist pack Kaiba. That's what I meant. Not starter deck Kaiba. Duelist pack Kaiba. The um, super rare first edition. These are nice. It's nice to find the first edition ones. Um, the unlimited ones are a little easier to find, uh, but that's beautiful. That's a really nice looking card. Um, pretty good shape, a little bit of wear right there. So I'd call a light play just based off of looking at it through the video, through the camera. So just some other cool blue eyes. We got the BPT, I think maybe FL1 or something. Let's see, a couple of BBTs. There is an FL1. Unlimited, which is still awesome. Um, I like this one, it's really dark compared to like this unlimited one, I like that a lot. So let's move on and there's a lot more blue eyes, which is cool. We got the ghost rare over here, that's always nice. Let's see if I can move the, um, the binder into a better spot so you guys can see the opposite page. There we go. That's a little bit better, and eh, now I kind of cut that off. All right, I think that's a little bit better. You guys can pretty much see what's in here. Uh, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a Duelist League Blue Eyes. Pretty awesome there. Haven't owned one of those in a long time. Um, not really something I've ever sought out, but they're pretty cool. I like them, actually. Um, so that's nice. And then we got some... Uh, ooh, Dark Legends Blue Eyes. That's really cool. That's something I never have owned, so that's really awesome. Very happy to own that. And SKE, kind of cool there. Um, what else is back here? Some more SDK Blue Eyes. Um, this anniversary pack was definitely one that I was interested in. Um, I think this is the best artwork of Blue Eyes in the entire game. That is just my opinion. Um, take it for what it is. I know a lot of people disagree with that. They like the SDK Blue Eyes. The SDK Blue Eyes is by far the most nostalgic in my opinion, but this guy is just so beautiful. This is just an amazing looking card. Uh, I love the artwork. I love him on top of the tower. It kind of looks like the Kaiba Core Tower. Um, or at least I pretend that it is. Um, doesn't look exactly like it from the anime. Um, so that's in really good shape. That looks nice. Beautiful looking card. So we'll go ahead and, I have some penny sleeves here. We'll go ahead and throw that in one. So awesome, awesome blue eyes white dragon from anniversary pack. Um, let's see what else is in here. We got the PCK blue eyes, which is another nice one. That one looks like it's got a little bit of edge wear, but all right, we'll, we'll do you guys a solid and uh, throw this out here. There we go. Um, that's actually not too bad, at least on the front. The back is always the mystery, right? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so I'd say that's, that's near mint. That's pretty nice. It's very clean. So it, it deserves a penny sleeve. All right, so let's move on. We've spent enough time on all these blue eyes. Uh, we got some Dark Magicians, some Dark Magician Girls, more Blue Eyes, because uh, you just can't have enough. That Jump Blue Eyes is pretty sweet. Oh, man, that's a really, uh, that might be like my third favorite artwork of Blue Eyes. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just the space in the background, because I like the, the space in this background with like the moon and stuff. I think that's just great. Very cool. Um, so Dark Magician Girls are awesome to have. There's an Ulti Dark Magician, pretty sweet. And then uh, some SDY uh, Dark Magicians. And then here we got some commons and rares. It's a bunch of random stuff. And then we got a dark paladin. He said this was creased, so that's a little unfortunate, but I did appreciate the heads up on that one. Um, so far, everything seems to be in the condition that he said it was in, which is always appreciated. So, um, you know, all, all the, the money talk that we did uh, is, is gonna be pretty accurate, I think. Uh, and I even told him, like, if I get more out of it than I thought I was going to, I'll kick down some of it because that's the way I like to do things where um, I feel like if I underpaid for something, I'd like to go ahead and um, share some of those earnings with the, with the seller um, because that encourages people to sell cards to me, um, again, if they come across any. So here's um, some Toon Mermaids. That one is actually, it's, uh, it's unlimited. It's pretty beat up. But look at the, um, I don't know if you can really see it. It looks like it's slightly shifted down the MRL. That's pretty cool, I've never seen that. 
So a slight misprint, I, I suppose. Um, here's a first edition and it's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of wear on the back, but it's not too bad. I'd say it's close to near mint. I say very light play on that. So that's nice because it is first ed. And those are, um, those can be, you know, a little bit pricey. Not too bad. First edition uh, Magic Ruler tends to be one of the cheaper of the original sets to get in first edition. So that's a cool reprinted Gate Guardian. I can tell it's a reprint, just, I mean, the way it's colored, it's pretty obvious, but um, it's still a Gate Guardian. I mean, better than no Gate Guardian. Uh, so Earthbound Immortal is pretty cool. I think it's just an Ultra, but awesome nonetheless. I like the Earthbound Immortals. I think they're pretty cool. This really beat up End of Anubis. Um, got an Injection Fairy Lily. Stardust Dragon. So pretty cool stuff, man. Definitely a good collection. Um, had a few big hitters, which is what really drove the price up. And then just a lot of like, you know, one, two, three dollar cards um, that we're getting into. Got, you know, Tribe Infecting Virus. Looks like there might be a few of these. Um, or maybe it's the Dark Necrofear that's making this. Yeah, it's the Dark Necrofears. There's a lot of those. Looks like there's only one Tribe. But look at how many Dark Necrofears are back here. Uh, from Master Collection 1, MC1, and then Legendary Collection 3. So he probably opened up a lot of Legendary Collection and got those. Harpy Lady Sisters. Donza Lug, that's a pretty nice card. Nice uh, little goat format card there. Sinister Serpent. Uh, that Ancient Gear Beast is ultimate. Again, it's unlimited, so no first set ultis that I've seen yet. Uh, I might have missed something. I'm kind of just taking it all in because uh, I haven't seen the entire collection, although I've seen the majority. Um, and when I say the entirety, it's I think it's mostly because there's cards behind cards, so I don't know what's lurking behind um, cards on the surface. Got the Delinquent Duo there, pretty nice. Secret Rare MST. Uh, the ult uh, Ultra Rare Change of Heart is pretty cool as well. Red Geki, good for old school duels. Um, it is legal in the current format too, but uh, it's not really used that much. I guess wiping your opponent's monsters just isn't what it used to be. So BPT Secrets, that's nice. Doesn't look like there's any reverse foils. People like those, but don't see any on that one. Some more collector tin foils. Divorce Raider. Getting a little thin here. Volcanic Doomfire is pretty awesome. Montage Dragon. So it looks like some just some tin promos. Maybe that's what we're getting into. Tin promos. Looks like that's pretty much what we're coming across here. Some 2012 tins. And I think that's gonna do it, guys. I think that's gonna be the end of the collection. That's a nice uh, JMP red eyes. So we've got some promos, as you can see, some jump stuff. Victory Dragon. Uh, I see a Karibo look, uh, hanging out back there. That's nice. A couple of Karibos. Wing Karibo, Wing Karibo level 10, and then original Karibo, so that's awesome. That's very cool. All right, so that's gonna finish off the collection. What a way to finish with Karibo. How else would you finish a collection but with one of the most powerful monsters ever, actually the first hand trap, Karibo. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoy this. I won't bore you with looking at every single card individually because that's gonna take some time. But um, stay tuned. Uh, check out my OSC sales page, definitely. Um, Follow it and look for good deals on that sales page. And we'll be selling this collection off piece by piece. So check it out. And of course, as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.